So how does then the, the, the radical economics project perpetuate itself, or does it even make sense to have a radical economics project that isn't embedded in a larger movement? And if so, what is it going to look? It's going to I'll have to look different in that case. Well, um, my view about this is that, uh, I mean, I haven't thought about it in quite this form, but so there was a movement which generated all of us and our students. And, and after the first few years, students from all over the world. Why well, we have, even today, a student here from India, so this is an indication of how 50% of the students that we have here today are from <laughs> other places, which is about true of the department. Yeah. Um, and, and so they were interested in, in finding ways to understand the world so that they could inter intervene in the world in a more effective way. I had to understand it to intervene. The, the, the problem Marx said in the thesis on Feuerbach was that the, the problem is philosophers have tried to understand the world, but we want to change it. But I think he meant we want to change it with a good understanding of philosophy uh, behind this. So uh, there was a symbiosis between these two things. The people came out of the movement, the graduate students came out of the movement. The movement produced the demand for graduate students and the sit-ins and the strikes and all this stuff that, that essentially, like in, in, in our university and many other universities, created the context in which people who didn't want to hire us hired us. Um, so, and then, so we're teaching the students, the students are revolting. Um, it, it, you know, and, and we're, we're onward to the revolution. I never believed we were onward to the revolution. Some people actually thought the revolution was coming in five years, that they, whatever. But, uh, I had seen the underside of repression at Buffalo, and I, I wasn't going to come easy, and may not, we, we may not be ready for it yet. Um, okay, so that, and there's a, there's a carryover from that in the student body that lasts a long time, mm -hmm. in, including, the, 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 including for a while the undergraduate student body. So people have been affected by this. Um, so what's the role then afterwards? Well, the, I think the role is of, of, of the uh, teachers of radical economics is to uh, assist those people who are still in, interested in this mm -hmm. to understand the world and to intervene better and to create material for people who might be interested in changing the world, if not today, tomorrow, that, that gives them a better understanding and reinforces their, their, their desires to change the world. We say, look, it doesn't have to be like this, right? This, this is the reasons why things are bad. You can't get a job, you can't get health care, you can't educate your children, you can't whatever. And um, they don't have to be that way, right? E even if we just look at various kind of forms of national capitalisms around the world. We can find that people that not everybody pays, forces their children to pay for their education. There's universal health care. So I don't know that there's a few people who had a, a plan, a blueprint, but most of us just believed that we understood what the problems were and, and, and how you might go about resolving and creating a better situation for the majority of people in, in uh, your, your, your country or in the community or in the world. And that this is an intervention in the political process itself. So if you can convince people that, that there are reasons why they have difficulties, and you don't have to go to Fox News and tell you that the Mexicans are the cause of your problem, but the cause of your problem is the political economic structure that, that you live in, and you tell them honestly that there are, there are better ways to do this, and, and they could be achieved if we would change the structure of the political system, money and politics and so on and so forth, uh, things that are relevant now, uh, that that empowers them and, and, and will help to whatever extent is possible to motivate people to, to, uh, to engage in political dissent.